Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, it was so hard. It was so hard, and it was even harder because I'm competitive. Right. And the person, the my, my Pilates lady, I got her information from Christian. Christian. Right? Okay. Yes, yeah. Her and her and her son oh, and Christian so went to high school to, to, with, uh, with high school together. So I'm like, I'm following up Christian. So I'm like, I got it. I have to do this. Like, I have to be able to do certain stuff. And I mean, there's some days I go in there, and it's the hardest workout of my week. Yeah. And I come out of there dripping and sweating. I'm like, man, I've been in there for 40 minutes, and that was harder than my whole workout at the gym. Right. Well, how about as you guys come together as a group, the offensive line? Are you guys doing Pilates together? Like, what kind of things do you do to uh, stay cohesive? Most of the time when you're doing offensive line, we eat together. You eat? You know what I mean? When you're together, <laughs> no Pilates. Off, yeah, yeah, we no do offensive line. Eating is a sacred time. Like our, <laughs> our lunch time and eating, that's like our sacred time. I feel time. like I would fit in with the whole Oh line man, then. it's not hard to fit in with it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just I'm put some you. good food in front of me. Oh. But how are you guys gelling as a unit? Because to me, the bread, the butter, the core of this offense, yes, Kyler Murray, but it's the O-line. Yeah, yeah. My eyes are always on the O-line. So how are you guys coming together? I think we're coming to the, together well. I think when you add guys like JR and Marcus, to, 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 yeah. the, to the group that we already had, you know what I mean? They bring such a, that, that, that veteran leadership and guys that's won games and they know how you're supposed to do that one playoff game. Mm -hmm. So for them to bring that edge to the room and, and just that, those guys bring edge to the room. Marcus and JR are some pretty intimidating guys. Yeah, you know, JR. Yeah, JR don't he play around. He scares me. Yeah, that's, he was, that's he his He used role. to play on the D-line, so he has that kind of that mentality. Yeah, mentality, yeah. And then you meet him and he's like the funniest dude in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so. All you guys are, you guys kind of we're gentle giants. Gentle giants. Yeah, then we put our helmets on and we become yeah. You need animals. to because yeah. Yeah, games are won at the line of scrimmage. Exactly. You know that. Exactly. We got a good quarterback. We can't do nothing to being clean. Speaking of, what is, last question, what is that like knowing that you're the blind side protector? You got the task of protecting Kyler Murray, number one overall draft pick. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is kind of like, uh, this is something that we're conditioned to do. You know what I mean? I think when you're talking about offensive linemen, we don't really block it in different. If it's Joe Schmo back there or if it's Kyler, you know what I mean? But like, does it change anything because of what he's able to do in oh, the way that definitely. you protect, knowing definitely. that he can take off on his feet and your protection plans change? 100%. So how does that change for you as a for, lineman? For me as an offensive lineman, knowing that at any moment Kyler can take off, there's, there's no clocks in our head. Yeah. There's no, at any moment you think that the, the crowd could be cheering because he threw the ball downfield. The crowd could like, be cheering wait, because he <laughs> juke somebody on yeah. the sideline before and he's still trying to make a play, you know yeah. what I mean? So understanding that you can't have a clock in your hand, you're constantly working. I think that's like the the only really adjustment to having a quarterback that that style is. You never really can let up until you see the ball going. Until you see the ball thrown, yeah. you got to block until the whistle blows. What's the biggest uh, surprise with Kyler so far? Uh, I think the biggest surprise so far is the fact that we haven't gotten any donuts or anything like that in camp. What is that? Yeah, yeah, that surprised me. He came he in came so in hot. So, th that's yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come in I got a. Now I'm, I'm glad you just brought it up because I that slipped my mind. He fooled us. Tell him. Yeah, he Here's your fooled chance. us. Tell him in the GoPro. Tell him. I, Kyler, yeah. you fooled us, bro. You know what I mean? You had us all hyped you came up. Came in and too strong. You came in really strong. You hit us like two days back to back with the donuts, and here we are. Day six and in camp. And we know the key to your heart. You know what I mean? You've already figured us out at this point and we, we still haven't had any donuts. You know what I mean? Not even a beverage. But oh. uh, Well, we, you know what? I brought you some. Well, thank you. I brought you a oh, snack you. for practice. Thank you. And a little hey. H2O. A little and for water. her having to take care of your responsibilities, we'll make sure you get up in front of the team and, and put on a good show this afternoon. We really appreciate you, Kyler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can take over then, right? Yes, no. yes. <laughs> Hey, thanks for riding with me. Yeah, thank you. Been fun. We've been Good trying fun. to get our show together for Yeah, a long time. yeah, yeah. I'm glad I could finally get on it and get me a give me a cool ride over the to see some of the scenery. Good. <laughs> what do you what do you give me a rating? Uh I give you an A for the interview and I give you a a, a, B, a C plus for the driver. C plus. It's a pass. You passed on the driver a test. C plus? What? You passed though. But it was some hot curves over. It was a couple <laughs> hot corners. The, the car almost tipped over a couple times, but it's all right. We it's didn't, not my fault. It's not your fault. You just got to understand your passengers. You got to. You can't be making those wild turns when you got a big guy like that. All right, you well, you're in one piece. Get to practice. Yes. Hey, hey.